today we are looking at the Mandalorian Deluxe with the child. Obviously hot toys and i um, happy to say yeah this figure is a little bit early thanks to uh, overseas uh, SG Pro Toys thank you and as well as checking out our American retailers in the link down below but let's go ahead and check this guy out. I took I took a long time. I, I took a long time to just unbox this guy. Now, uh, here's the box. Obviously, the front of the box is what you expect. Everything is behind the figure. I already unboxed it. I already went through it. Um, everything is behind the box. I'm going to try not to show. It was so much. That's the side. And then the box in the front, obviously. And then the other side. And then some of the art box. And then here it is, the um, art box on the inside. Now, this obviously isn't... Mando from season one because he's he's decked out in Beskar armor, so I don't know why they would use this clip, but they did in the arm, and that's what it is. I mean, what are you gonna do? So here is everything laid out. Everything. I mean, there's a ton to go through in the box. It doesn't look like much because everything's compacted in this one little go right here. Oh baby, come on. But here is everything out of the box. Literally everything. I usually don't take out hands and all that kind of stuff, but for this figure. I wanted to take out a little bit more and show you guys. I'm going to just dust off everything. I don't know why I have the dusting feeling whenever I feel, film, but I'm going to show you guys everything that it comes with because it is absolutely a ton. So let's start off from this side going right, and we're going to start off with this guy. This is the little ice cream maker uh, from episode five, Empire Strikes Back, and they rebrought. Re Pretty much reissued this in uh, the Mando uh, season one when the uh, guy, the client, was trying to get the asset. And he was like, this is what I can give you, a lot of ice cream. But I'm, I'm saying it's an ice cream maker because that's originally what it was when the guy was carrying it in Bespin. Um, if you guys can remember that one scene. And he was just carrying this. And this was just a random prop. They're like, hey, just do something with your hands and you're going to use this. Obviously, it comes with some Beskar on the inside. Let's go through that. So let me put the best card to the side. And then you can see this actually does light up. I'm not going to light it up because you know how I am. Uh, batteries go under here. You put it in. Um, I don't like putting uh, lights in uh, batteries in my in the lighted features because it just, I don't know, it's it's not usable. I don't want lights in my stuff unless you know, I, can, I can work it out myself. Anyway, but here it is. That's a little ice cream maker. You can close it. It does shut, shut, shut. Oh my gosh. It does, it. <laughs> It's a bit hard. So what you have to do, you have to basically tuck that in first and then push and then like so, tuck it in. See, it's, it's kind of difficult, but then again, once you get a hold of it, there it is. And it's closed, oh, sorry, it is closed right there again. It looks very nice, the details and stuff, and it's just a cool accessory. And then for that, you do have this little, it pegs into the bottom of that, and you do have this Beskar, which the Beskar is very, Nicely detailed, as you can see now. Beskar it looks like Beskar. Um, the Empire emblems, is it the best? No, it's, it's there. Um, but at this scale, I do believe it is pretty hard for them to do. Now, it does come with another piece of Beskar, which to me is a little bit on the better side of things. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit better as far as emblem goes. But that's just a single piece of Beskar versus the whole stack, which is nice. You can put it all in a little tray right there. And it does come with his armor, which is switchable out. I will show you on the figure itself. He does have the um, Mudhorns uh, signet on onto his Beskar. So this was a switch out. I already did that. Moving along, we have his rifle, which the rifle, I do believe, is pretty much the same exact thing. Uh, you can take this off the... The um, scope does come off and whatnot, and this does peg into his chest. Same old story from what I do believe. I will bring in the older Mando and do a side-by-side -side comparison. And then you have his holographic little dude right here, which obviously Hot Toys likes to do these holographic things. I mean, I never had a use for him. I never, ever have a use. Is his head articulated? <sighs> no, it's not. I'm going to break it. But I never really have a use for these, so that's just going to go to the side. Speaking of flight, we do have these, which are basically for his jetpack. I'm not going to use it because I'm not going to have him flying around. I do have a designated pose that I want for him. And we have this kind of grappling hook. Um, 
it's it's made out of metal i think i feel like it's made out of metal to keep that stiffness and it does plug in somewhere in his arm i haven't uh, arm. i haven't seen where yet but i'm gonna find out here we have mando's vibro blade which is awesome this stuff cuts through metal like it's butter this is this is this is an amazing accessory for a mando as well as a figure i don't know if we can stack this into his boot or his shin uh somewhere but it is there and i will try my best it, it's supposed to have a damascus look to it that's why i think vibro blades that's what they mainly have but that got a little bit of weathering here and there his typical blaster which i mean it was probably on the uh, last one same thing nothing changed nice little hole in there i have no idea how you even use this gun comfortably with a exact like little hole here we have his flame effect for his flamethrower that goes in his arm it plugs actually into his shin into his um break uh gauntlet little braces and it it plugs in very nicely and this piece goes into the uh flamethrower uh outlet part but look at that i always love a flamethrower effect i love this and this is actually a piece that uh switches out with his flashlight uh attachment on his helmet which i already have on him that will also be a through the figure. Tracking fob, nothing to see here. Whistling bird attachment, which... <laughs> and then you have the whistling birds that actually are in use, which is really cool. I really love this, and I'm going to put this on. I love it. I love this. Um, I'm not sure. This probably might have the droop effect going on, but might not. It's, it's pretty light, so I have faith in you. Detonator, we know. These detonators. Falls off, goes on the dude. This is actually the cover for his little baby crib thing. So that goes on here and basically covers him up like so. And if you want to have it like that, I wouldn't because who, I mean, baby Yoda. Why not, you know? And then we have the little munchkin himself. Look at him. Look at him. Look at the details on this guy. Oh my God, look at the face on your baby. Grogu, Baby Yoda, the child, whatever you want to call him, he's the cutest little thing to be green ever in this planet. I swear, this is really nice. The The clothes do look fabric, but it's not fabric. It is a um, sculpted material, obviously resin. Um, not resin, but like a vinyl-y, plastic-y type material. Obviously, here you can see his ears move and easily floppable. You can bend him this way. You can actually cold treat water or whatever you do to uh, make it stay but um as far as head articulation he does turn his head move it around and stuff it's it's not too bad it's expected for a child and then we have mandalorian the deluxe himself which really really looks really really freaking good i have a bunch of hands here uh, i'm not sure if you want to see the hands it's the same hands really it's the same stuff that we got it's it why no relaxed hand i don't know but luckily in this case for his posing, I don't need him uh, to have relaxed hands, which is fine. I mean, it is what it is. But let's go ahead, zoom in on the details of the Mandalorian. So what do we have here? The Mando, let's bring him in a little bit closer. The Mando's uh, <laughs> gunmetal Beskar paint is trying to blend in with my background. You see, I'm always like, should I have a black background? Should I have a, a gray? Should I have a white? And then here we have this guy's trying to blend in. I always have an issue with troopers and these type of figures. But anyway, look at that. That helmet attachment the for the light is on him right now. As you can see, that is immaculate. I love this. Now, I do want to say, Hot Toys, if you can make this a bit more chromey. Um, I didn't mention one more accessory hiding behind here, actually. I'm going to pull this to the side so you guys can see. Um, Hot Toys. Let me go through this accessory first. This is the... He keeps falling over on his base. It's very unstable because that base is a very crappy sand base, which I hate. But um, let me put that back up right here. And this is the uh, jetpack accessory I was talking about. Very nicely detailed. I love the paint apps and everything on it. I mean, everything is fine. My only thing is, um, it's not a complaint to Hot Toys nor the show. Uh, it's very, it very easily magnetized on the back. It kind of goes over the um, strap on his back, which is kind of okay. But um, my only thing for Hot Toys, uh, if you can please make him a bit more shinier. Uh, what I mean by that is a chrome effect, mm, like mirrored. Um, we saw that with Phasma. I know you can do it, Hot Toys. So 
yeah, his his armor was like this in some shots, and then his armor was not like that in other shots. So it's like give or take, but I wish we can see a little bit of chromage going on. Um, but let's go through the details on Baby Yoda's little crib thingy right here. I don't know what you call it. It's like a, I heard it called a pram and this and that, but as you can see, Baby Yoda is chilling. And another accessory is the, um, what do you call the, uh, dang it. Whoa, I forget that thing all the time. The, uh, I can't think of it, but that, that, gosh, I hate that I do that, but, um, that's there, the uh, little emblem and the necklace. And then we have the child in the, in the little cribby. And it's, it's, it's magnetized. So when you, uh, let me take him out. Let me zoom out of here, take him out. He is magnetized and he comes with a little blankie. And then you put that down and then, oh my God, it is a little blankie. And his base is actually a separate base, kind of like a diorama piece. It, as you can see, a clear stem that pegs into this piece right here. And this actually comes apart so you can place him wherever. This is the plug for this right here. So if you want to use this base without the stem, you won't have a hole. You'll have something to plug plug, plug into it so it doesn't look all weird and wacky. So all in all, that looks pretty cool. I love the incorporation of a base like this. It makes everything look nice. Um, it's, it's very flowy with this type of base. Although I hate this base because as you can see, there's footprints that will never go to any pose I will ever do in my life when it comes to any Star Wars figures. And then here we have the boots and stuff. Obviously the same as what we got last time. Um, you have these little bullets or shells for his, uh, um, his rifle. Uh, nice blooming on the rifle. I like that. Uh, moving up, you see his little scarring on his uh, thigh armor, which these look really nice. This looks like actually like melted soldering metal on his thigh, which it's really good detail. They paid good attention. And um, this, obviously, we're going to get another Mando with the different thigh armor. Um, obviously, it's coming with the swoop bike. And then moving up, we have a little bit of difference in here. The previous Mando was more of a tan undersuit. Um, this guy has a a, a, a like a bluish gunmetal gray type undersuit. Um, basically, the show changes to Hot Toys changes type stuff. So, um, but all in all, this looks uh, as you can see the belt and uh, the little bandolier with the shells for his long rifle. Um, just amazing looking to me I don't know why this looks more like Mando than um, the first release I don't know why I, I get a more of an excitement Mando vibe out of this one than the first release now I'm gonna put them side by side here in a, in a minute but first let's go through some details as you can see the Mudhorn signet right there looks absolutely epic oh, Mythosaur that's what it's called ha huh, got him and I'm um, going down you can see more details in his posture. Just look at that. This has been upgraded to Beskar as well. This, actually, this is the handpiece where this plugs in. This, pl this long piece goes into his brace. And then this piece kind of aligns with that little part right there. And then when you have him up, he looks all dandy. And boom, flamethrower effect. So that's how you get that flamethrower effect to stay. Now, I don't know where this part will go. Because I, I guess maybe you just stick it in there. I have to read the Hot Toys manual, of course. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to use it anyway. But let's go ahead and let's switch out this arm brace for hombres for this guy because this whistling birds effect is something i'm looking forward to oh look at that um let me have so here goes the uh, here goes the problem which is the fat suit whoa which is the fat suit god this figure is so tumbly wumbly i don't have a, a grabber on him because i haven't really played with him enough but there is the whistling birds effect on him I like that we have the little uh, metallic details at the very end so you can actually see the birds. 
and they're very rare and very hard to get, but Mando uses them like it's water. I don't get it, Mando. You use stuff like it's water. I mean, it's fine. It is what it is. You, you got to kill to protect. You got to protect this house. It's, it's understandable. But here we can. I, I'm sorry. It's just dark because it's just the reflection going on right now. But there it is with the whistling bird effect. I'm going to take that off. Obviously, you can see here. That's how it attaches. Is It just plugs right into where the um, uh, peg is on the part itself. Let me find what I did with the other one. Oh, here it is. And this goes back on. There it is again, Mando looking all beautiful. We do have his vibro blade, which I don't know where to put. I'm kind of I'm kind of just thinking like have it on his chest somewhere. Maybe put it on his chest like that. Kind of look like a badass right there. I mean, it's just it's just all to your liking. You make this guy whatever you want to do. And he comes with this little part right here, which is the um, kind of, I want to say detonator, um, like C4 charge detonator. No, this does stick up. I've seen some reviews where they're like, oh man, this part stick up and these others, I wish this and that. No, actually, if you look in the show, it's like this. This one is kind of up and the rest, the other two are kind of down. I don't get it. Uh, Hot Toys did it right. I mean, I, I paid attention to it. I've seen it. And it is a little bit higher than the other two. And the only complaint I have about this piece is whenever you move it, this part will fall off because that's just how it is. But um, if it wants to focus. Anyway, they should make that part magnetic. Um, I wish that part was magnetic. Now, I don't have anything else to show you besides articulation, which we do know about. And this part goes on like so. It does clip on and set, but you have to take Baby Yoda out, of course, or you can just lay him back. Um, I don't know, did I show you Baby Yoda underneath? He's like a half um, little meaty part of, I don't know, this is cool looking right there. But stay right there, baby. So, uh, all in all, the figure comes with epic stuff. I mean, this is a lot of stuff it comes with. So, what is left on this guy is articulation as far as I know, which we do know, I'm going to take his jetpack off because this thing keeps... Basically, keep falling off. We do know that his articulation is very poor. As you can see, I cannot lift it up. There is a fat suit under him that uh, and disables his articulation, essentially. Which, it's very sad to see because Mando is a very, like, he's a very articulated guy. I mean, he's a gunslinger. He, he, ooh, guy, look at that. But he is a gunslinger. He, he needs this type of articulation, so... To see him kind of missing out on stuff like that, it's just kind of weird. As you can see, this is where his holster is. A little bit of sloopy hoopy to go in there. Um, let's see, can we put that? Not, not right now, I'm not gonna fit it. That's behind the cape, obviously, more Beskar armor. And then this clip is a magnetic clip that allows you to hoop his um, long rifle down through his back and enable all that. But as you can see, the damage. I like the helmet on this one. I don't know why. I'm going to say this helmet is a little bit better than the other one. The other one looks to be more weathered. This one looks to be more clean. I do wish they had that chrome effect as you can see the flashlight. It is nice. It does come with a flight, st flight stand. I don't know if I covered that, but I don't know. I like it. Um, the best car on this one is very nice. To me, this looks like a Mando. This looks like, you know, the Mando that I feel is my Mando, which I don't know. I just I said that in the in the uh, in the review for the other one. So let me go ahead and get the other one and show you guys the difference. So here are the two side by side. Um, obviously I didn't do it on purpose. That's just the way his pose was, and he's shooting Baby Yoda right in the head. Not my fault. Just how the pose goes. Um, as you can see, the difference is there. Um, look at this. Look at this helmet. Dirty. Look at this helmet. Clean. It just. It has its differences, yes. Um, what is it? I, it's just, it's just different. It's two different Mandos. This really does look like a different Mando to me. This looks like my Mando. I really feel like this Mando is the ultimate Mando. I really do. I really do feel like this Mando is the ultimate Mando. 
it's just it looks chunkier i don't know i don't know i don't think the fat suit is the same it, it, i don't know why it just looks chunkier i think it's because of the flow of the colors on him that's making him a little bit better than that one to me a lot of people like this one because it is og mando and once this guy sells out he's going to be going for a lot of money as well as this guy already going for a lot of money i mean people are paying like 600 dollars straight from hong kong just to have him in hand which is a lot of money. But this guy, at the value of 300 some dollars shipped, it's a lot of stuff going on. As you can see, there's a pile of junk sitting right there. Baby Yoda is like, Grogu is saying, what the hell is around me? Jeepers creepers. I like the fact that it comes with an extra baby. Um, so the value and the, the figure to me is here. It's in this deluxe Mando. And if you're just, if you can only afford one Mando, go for this Deluxe. It's still available. Go for this Deluxe. I don't know on this guy because he did have his, his ifs and buts. But I'm going to give this guy a 8 out of 10. Number one fact is being that the, it's a fat suit. And anytime we have a fat suit from Hot Toys, it's going to be hindered. Um, we can't get the best articulation out of him. I don't know why they use such a fat suit on him. People are changing him out with the uh, true type, no, uh, Fison bodies, like a M33, I think is one that goes well with him. Um, a lot, plenty of people took him out, and I'm going to take the fat suit out of this one if I cannot achieve the pose that I want. So, he will be sacrificed if he doesn't get that. That's one point taken off. Next point is going to be that... The armor, now this can be up to the show or this can be up to Hot Toys. Why I will take off another point is because I want the armor to look a lot more, a lot more reflective, more of a mirrored Beskar, because it does vary in the show, I understand, yes, but um, through variants, I don't want to see basically reissues. I want to see upgrades Hot Toys. Although the show does show, you know, you know his Beskar and stuff, I want to see upgrades, Hot Toys, and not just uh, parts. Uh, I want to see paint. I want to see better paint apps. I want to see. I want to see some effort through this. So, like, it's missing relaxed hands. I'm, I mean, that's a minor thing. I mean, he's kind of relaxed right there, but other than that, uh, pretty much the same base it came with, but in a different tone. Um, Mandalorian, Mandalorian. A lot of reuse here. A lot of reuse. As you can see, the boots. Same, um, I want to say the pantsuit is a little bit darker. His undersuit, or his flight suit basically you can call it, is a little bit darker. As you can see, it's more of a brown tone on the other one. It's not really brown, it's just a, just a darker color. But all in all, the both of them, I want to say this is my ultimate Mando. And I give this guy an 8 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up. It does help. I'm trying to get these videos out for you guys early as possible now. I want to get you, you know, figures that's day one. Thanks to SG Pro Toys. Links down below. Um, can't just, I just can't go wrong with this one. That's why. I just, he's beefy. He's a, he's a big boy. And that guy's like, I mean, it is kind of true. It's kind of his novice years. I want to say novice because he has been bounty hunting, but he's not true mando yet i mean this is when he started taking up his true mando form so i do love this one um nostalgic wise and i gotta say this is this is a really good piece right here I, i'd go for this one if you're in a debate between these two so if you like what you saw here on these company collectibles make sure you like and subscribe i know a lot of you watch these videos and you're not subscribed please subscribe um like the videos like i said and prepare for more i have a figure down here uh, I'm, 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 I'm not gonna show it I have a figure down here, and it's a giveaway, so stay tuned. And it's 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 with these guys, so stay tuned. It's it's right here. I'm probably gonna film it right now. It's right here. Stay tuned.